Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Singleton. Uh, this is the third day of virtual learning, and I have been so um, excited to see all of your responses uh, online. I love seeing your videos and your pictures of the things that you were doing, counting to five, finding five objects in your house, uh, seeing your fairy gardens, watching your plants grow. I have just had so much fun uh, getting to know you in a different way. Uh, today, uh, we're going to talk about some authors and illustrators, and we're going to talk about uh, measurement. So let's get the day started. You ready? Today is Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. Hmm, do you guys want to say it like a baby? All right. Today is Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. We're going to sing a song about a fuzzy wuzzy caterpillar. You got to get your caterpillar ready. You ready? All right. Fuzzy Wuzzy Caterpillar climbed up a tree, spun his cocoon, and then he went to sleep. While he was sleeping, he dreamt that he could fly, and when he woke up, he was a beautiful butterfly. You want to do it again? All right. Get your caterpillars ready. Fuzzy Wuzzy Caterpillar climbed up a tree, spun his cocoon, and then he went to sleep. <sniffs> While he was sleeping, he dreamt that he could fly, and when he woke up, he was a beautiful butterfly. Yay! Good job! All right. Let's get learning about some measurements. Do you guys remember when we measured each other? in the classroom with socks. Do you guys remember that? That was fun, wasn't it? Do you guys remember who was the longest person that we measured with the socks? Hmm, who was it? It was Miss Singleton, right? All right, so today I want to show you a picture of our caterpillars. Which caterpillar is the longest? Caterpillar A, or caterpillar B. Remember, longest, shortest. Longest, shortest. I can't wait to see your answers. Is it going to be caterpillar A or caterpillar B? All right, friends, we have been learning this week all about authors and illustrators. Remember, an author is somebody who writes the words for the story. The illustrator is somebody who draws the pictures. We want to know who the author and the illustrator of this story is. You know Miss Singleton loves Pete the Cat. This is her favorite, right? We love this story. His buttons pop off, but does Pete cry? Goodness, no. All right, so let's look here. We've got some names on this book. All right, art by James Dean. Hmm, if he did the art, that makes him the illustrator. James Dean is the illustrator of Pete the Cat. Down here we have Story by Eric Litwin. Hmm, so he made the story. So is he the author or the illustrator? He made the story, he wrote the words. So he's the author. So we have the author of the story, Eric Litwin, and we have the illustrator of the story, James Dean. All right, let's get reading this story. Pete the Cat and His Four Groovy Buttons. Art by James Dean and story authored by Eric Litwin. Pete the Cat and His Four Groovy Buttons. Pete the Cat put on his favorite shirt with his four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. He loved his buttons so much, he sang this song. You guys remember the song? Let's sing it together. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Pop! 
one of the buttons popped off and rolled away. Oh no, look at Pete. How many buttons are left? Three. Four minus one is three. Let's count them together. One, two, three. Let's look at Pete's face. He looks sad, but did Pete cry? Goodness no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. You ready? Let's sing. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. Pop! Oh no! Another button popped off Pete's shirt and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Oh no, Pete. Two, three, take away one is two. Let's count Pete's shirt. One, two, two buttons left. Let's look at Pete's face. Oh no, he's so sad. But did Pete cry? Goodness no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. You ready? My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. Pop! Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. Oh, poor Pete, he was getting his ice cream. How many buttons are left? One. He had two and one popped off. So now he has one left. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My button, my button, my one groovy button. My button, my button, my one groovy button. Pop! Oh no! The last button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons does Pete have left? Zero. One. Take away one is zero. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt, and what do you think he saw? Do you guys remember what Pete saw? His what? His belly button. And he kept on singing his song. Look at his belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. It's all good. I guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? Goodness, no. We keep on singing. Buttons come and buttons go. Guys, look what's in the back of this book. This is Eric Lit Litwin. He is the author of the story. Can you see him? And this right here is James Dean. He's the illustrator. He's the one that wrote and drew Pete the Cat. Hey, boys and girls, do you ever get scared? Do you ever have fear? I do. So, I was so scared to be your online teacher. I said, I don't think I know how to do this. And guess what? I had to learn. I had to be brave. Brave, being brave helps us to confront our fear, to face it, to get through those feelings of being scared. Being brave is hard. It's not easy, but it's something that we have to do and we, and we do it with practice. Every day I get on here, I make us a message, I try my best, and 
I try my best by being brave, by, by pushing the play button and recording and talking to you guys. I take that challenge of being scared and I face it with bravery. Do you guys remember our friend Kevin? He was in our classroom. He was our puppet friend that helped us talk through many of our emotions. Do you guys remember Kevin? Hi! Kevin was telling me about a time that he was at school and that he had to be brave because he didn't want to talk. He didn't want to stand up and talk in front of everybody. Right, Kevin? Oh, Kevin, he was so shy. He was scared. But Kevin, remember you had to stop and you had to think through those feelings. And remember that you are brave. That's right. You're brave. And guess what, Kevin? You started to la. You started to sing? Kevin, you're crazy. Kevin, I'm so glad that you're over being shy and that now you have taken the right steps to be brave. Can you be brave today like Kevin and like Miss Singleton?